Hello and welcome back to UK Tool Talk. Right, in the hardware store the other day, I saw, you know, like um, when you go in the supermarket and there's like sweets by where the checkout is. I saw this um, by the checkout, so I thought, oh, what's this? And what's this? A little, it's a little craft nice. It's a little craft knife. You know, some fucking days I can't get my words out. Anyway, it's an auto-retractable utility knife by a company called Slice. So we're going to do a full review of this knife and see if it's any good. Not really the kind of thing that kind of I'd use at work, but the specific um, sort of areas, like working with kids and stuff like that, um, th this would be absolutely brilliant. So first thing of note, right, first thing of note... Look at the cardboard box. No plastic here, muckers. Well, the knife's plastic, obviously, but um, you can't have a cardboard knife. But anyway, the the box is a bit of it's a work of art. Let's go on. It's got all the writing on it. So it's got sliced ceramic technology, safer than metal blades, eleven times longer versus steel. Not sure about that. Ambidextrous, auto retracts for safety. Oh my god, it's all going on. Let's see, let's see on the back. Non tool blade change. Non, no tool blade change. Oh, okay. Textured uh, auto retractable slider, reinforced nylon, nylon handle, and yan lanyard hold. Longer blade for thicker cuts. Switch blade orientation for lefties. Blade auto retract for safety. Um, ambidextrous, they've seen that one already. Finger friendly. Right, we'll go, we'll go into that in a minute. We'll go into that in a minute. So anyway, let's get the box open. It's exciting, isn't it? It's exciting. So this is it. You can see that I've had a little, done a little bit of testing on the cardboard and my finger. But anyway, so this is the little knife. It's quite a nice little design. It's, it's got a nice feel to it, actually. For a little craft knife, normally at work, this is my go-to, a standing knife. But some people, I use a standing knife or one of them ones where they snap the blades off. But anyway, yeah, very can be very, very dangerous. But the big selling point for this knife is the actual blade is ceramic. It's made out of ceramic. And it's got a safety sort of end. It doesn't come to a like a point there you can see that bit there is still very sharp but that bit there you can't really cut yourself on that and also it retracts you can, doesn't, it is a little bit of a bloody pain you know what I mean because you've got to keep your your thumb on there but that's quite in, intuitive that little that little thing you can just hold it there and then yeah then cut and then when for safety for safety you can pull it back so it looks like it's made out of some kind of like um, nylon sort of like glass fiber, bit of glass fiber in there. Quite strong. Bloody hell. Yeah, it's really strong. You could drop it and all sorts and it'll be absolutely fine. This bit at the top here is a way you can sort of change the blade orientation. Also, you can swap the blade. What you do is you put that to the unlock position and then this bit comes off, you see. And then if you push that forward, you can see that little lock bit there. That little pin there goes up, hang on, like that. And then you can pull the blade. You, see, it's double-sided, the blade. Quite some weight to it, really. Um, yeah. Hang on, hang on a minute, fucking hell. Put that back in. So you can swap that round so it goes the other way as well. So if you're left-handed or whatever, I'm right-handed. So I can lock, put that into the lock position. Hang on. There, that's locked. And we'll put the little cover back on. And then you turn, get a screwdriver and turn that to locked. They were sorted. So it comes with a little um, instruction book that goes into what I've just done with regarding getting the blades out so that's pretty good got a bit of paper one percent for autism a portion of this sale supports autism research god i mean that's brilliant that's absolutely brilliant i know someone who's a bit autistic and yeah it's very it's very um challenging 
um, my sister-in-law's um, son is a bit is on the spectrum and it's very challenging. Anyway, it's great to know that they're being supported by this knife. So we're best off doing giving it a little bit of, bit of a test and see if it can cut anything. So I've got a bit of paper. Uh, no, don't don't look at that bit. Don't look at that bit. So um, this is going to be a not brilliant test because I can't really. Hang on. Oh, look at that. Well, if I start from the end there. Oh, hang on. No. Hang on. Once you've got it going, the problem is, is this, um, the curved bit there, the safety bit at the end, it doesn't give you a chance to sort of start the cut. But once you've started it, Good, let's try a bit of cardboard. Let's try a little bit of cardboard. A bit harder. Oh, that's quite a challenge. No, it's, it's all right, it's all right. Okay, it started. Yeah, it's not too bad. So you can imagine if you were running like a sort of like a craft thing for children or young adults and they hadn't not really used to using knives um yeah it'd be very 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 safe but it's still sharp <laughs> obviously <laughs> now then full disclosure just to show you it is sharp even though it's a ceramic blade yeah yesterday i thought i'll just give it a little bit of a see if it'll <laughs> see if it'll cut my hand and I thought it wouldn't, but it did. So be careful out there, it's still sharp. So I've had some sticky tape on that all day. And it's, oh, it stings a bit. You know, it's like a paper cut, isn't it? But yeah, that's, and what I'm saying is, I've done that to myself, so it's sharp, but you've still got to be careful because it is still a knife. So will it be able to cut this little bit of um, string, this for gardening string? We'll give it a go. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'll have another go. Yeah, not too bad. I'm actually quite impressed with this, actually. So the main thing I think you could use this for, from my point of view, is if you get like a bit of a delivery of a package. Look, I've got a package here. This is um, Cone Man's new, new shoes. So these are spare shoes for Cone Man. So uh, as you can see, it's all sort of... It's all sort of taped up. So if you're opening a packet like this, let's just cut it across here. I think this is actually two boxes, but Have another go up this side. Bear with me. If you've got um, a load of packaging to take to bits or cardboard boxes to, to cut up for recycling, I think this would be just the job. So yeah. Pretty good. Honestly, I'm not messing with you. It's impressive. As is um, Cone Man's new shoes. Anyway, it hasn't damaged. The thing is, right, I've cut through the cardboard, and if that had been a Stanley knife or something like that, it would have cut Cone Man's um, shoes a little bit, and it hasn't at all. So that's a bonus. Sometimes when I'm cutting open packages with some delicate stuff, like um, a plumbing stuff, and sometimes it's dead easy to, to cut through the box, and you think, oh, I'm not catching anything inside. And next thing... <laughs> Next thing, but this thing here, with it having um, a round end, you can see it's not going to do too much harm to the thing that's inside. So that's bloody brilliant. That's absolutely br bloody brilliant, that. So, 
I guess if you were like a bit of a ho if you're a homeowner. What homeowner? That sounds like a fucking American thing. And anyway, if you have a house or you want to do a bit of DIY and and you're working, you're a bit of an eBayer and you you want to just alter boxes or open boxes quickly and safely. And let's say you had a kid or something who was um not that a bit green with knives and you wanted to just kind of get him you get he or she used to be using a knife and there's it can be obviously can be. Can be yeah, very very quite be very, very dangerous. But in them circumstances, I'm not saying this will be a you wouldn't give this to like a five year old or something. But if there's someone was about eight or nine, that'd be all right. That'd be very very good. So there we go, the slice auto retractable utility knife. That's a, what about that for a bloody review? There has been minimal swearing, minimal swearing, and I've cut my hand. I don't think that's really a bad... That's my stupidity that's d caused that. That was just stupidity from my point of view. But it, pro it proves that you've still got to be quite safe, even though this is like a safety knife. So there you go. I think... I can't remember how much these cost, but I'll put it up in the screen how much... Because I can't remember how much this was. And I think it was about a tenner or something. So for children to use, not really young children, or just being about the house, a safety knife for cutting up cardboard or paper, or even string. We'll just try one more little test. Um, this might be way too much, but I've got an old cable here um, off some bloody charger or something. And I'll see if it's going to cut this. It's a bit... When you're doing stuff like that, it's like, because I've got to hold it like that to cut it. I'll have to hold it with my other finger like that. So you ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> it's done it. It's kind of torn it a little bit. I'll have another go. And it might have bluntened the blade a little bit. But we'll try, try one more go for a crack. We'll just kind of do it like, inversion like that. Yeah. So if you're in a pinch, it will cut a little bit of cable. Obviously, it'll cut, it'll cut straw, cut, it'll cut string, it'll cut a little bit of cable, cardboard, paper, your finger, the whole nine yards, the whole nine yards. So that, that's my fantastic review of the Slice Auto Retractable Utility Knives. So you fancy it, look online. I'm not going to put a link. This is not one of them bloody affiliate. They haven't paid me. I haven't got this free. Let's say that. I haven't paid for it. I booked it out. Anyway, don't tell the boss. But yeah, this could be just the thing for you. Okay, another fantastic review from UK Tool Talk. I'll see you next week. And also, before we finish, be care. Be careful. As you know, my middle name is John Health and Safety Nixon. So yeah, but even I make mistakes. Even a pro like me. Okay, I'll see you next week.